Hello, everyone. Be careful of the people you allow in your house. I think especially if you are allowing them to stay in your house. You may be living for Jesus Christ. You may have standards for yourself and for your house. And let's say you allow someone in your house with lower standards than yours. Let's say they want to play really bad or worldly music in your house. Let's say they want to do this or want to do that. And let's say what they are doing is affecting you. Okay. I believe sometimes we can allow distractions in our lives. The distraction may seem as from the initial view, the distraction may seem like a good thing, but in the end, I believe it can make you go astray. Doesn't matter who it is, whether it is a family member, whether it is your mama, whether it is your dad or whatever else, if someone is doing something that is leading you to sin, you need to get away or get that person to stay away from you as much as possible. I believe every situation is not the same and sometimes we, I believe sometimes we may be the problem. But if we aren't a problem <clears throat> and the other person is, we need to be mindful of that. We need to take steps and trying to do what is right, even though our environment may change. So for me, it is usually best to try to stay away. Just because someone is your family member doesn't mean you need to be around that person all the time. That person may be harmful to you spiritually. Some people may say that a family tree bends, but don't break. So I guess bending can mean, you know, family can argue, fight, blah, 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 but they never break up. Depending on the case, of course. Sometimes you may have to stay away from certain family members. I hope this makes sense. God bless you.